Well folks, good afternoon. Early day out from work, but as the title says, first problem with this, with Big Barb, first problem. Oh, uh, it has happened sooner or later, didn't it? It's not going to be trouble free forever, is it? Not going to happen. But, uh, I'll tell you what, let's get it road. I'll tell you what's gone wrong. Yeah, so if you follow us on any kind of the social medias, you'll know uh, Bab's three, year, three years old now. Where's that gone? In a flash. Look at these, love these bends, there's always bloody cars on them. Yeah, so you'll know Barb's uh, three years old now, two Fridays ago. And she went for the first MOT and passed it, it's all alright, but uh, they did notice something that needs attention. Now, I'm usually bang on with these, I usually do keep my eye on stuff, but uh, I must have dropped the ball with this one. Oh, let's get around this car. Oh, why are they all going that way? He's going that way, they're going that way. What are you all doing? I thought it'd be quiet this time of day. Oh, vans and all sorts of stuff now. Oh, it's all gone wrong. See, forget it. Forget it, it's all gone wrong. Yeah, so, three years old. Uh, not had a problem. Never had to spend a penny on it. Well, except adding shite that we don't need. But, uh, what have we done that's actually needed? Well, the tube bus conversion. I'd say that was, a, if he was getting one of these, I'd say, well, you stay there, pal. Thank you. I'd say that was a must on these. So I've done the tubeless conversion. Obviously, the new 2020 bikes onwards already have tubeless tyres. Well, the Adventure Sport does. The standard one still has tubed. Look at that. Triumph. Ignored me. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, so... Tubeless conversion on this, uh, it's been faultless. I've had two sets of tyres on it, more 8,000 miles. It's never lost a pound of pressure. Uh, the camel screen brace, or whether you can see it there, I don't know whether I'm looking at it or not. Yeah, the camel screen brace, that's been good because I know that I've, because that's, even though the, the nav mounts there, or it can mount there, there is loads and loads of issues with that braking because uh, it's not meant to be a, a mount or a brace of any substantial weight burning capacity type thing whatever anyway cam will do these so i've got one of them on it just for mount the sat nav other than that everything i've done with it is not really needed it's just tart in shite yeah so i've never had to spend a penny on it needing left for anything i said i could have got away with all that thing with this camera angle you can see how fast I'm going that's optimistic by the way so don't be thinking too much on that I've got a bigger rear sprocket on the back only made if when we're touring two up fully loaded just gives it that bit more of a bit more of a pep but yeah there's a problem now before you all you with GS is there you're all looking at it now with bloody semi on there thinking oh it's broke yeah, it is, but it is a bit broke. Only a bit broke. Not lots broke, just a bit broke. But I will be getting it fixed. Nothing major, but still needs fixing. <laughs> You're not saying get to it. I will. I'd rather show you. It's hard to uh, explain it properly without seeing it. Oh, I will pull over in a second. Uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to pull over. I'll tell you what, I'll go for you. I'm going to pull over somewhere quiet. Oh, I'm gone. There's bloody fault. Oh, I'm going to let me go. I'm going as well, mate. Cheers, pal. Oh, maybe drop a gear. We're at Cornery Fourth. Thinking I'm on a GS. Are you joking? I've had two GSs, I love them. I'll ride anything but a cross-tour. 
and all sorts. Alright, anyway, I'm not. I'm not. There's a lot of people really uh, loyal, aren't they? Loyal to the brand. I just like what I like, and this has been faultless up to now. Obviously, I'm going to be sat behind cars all the time now. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's all struggling getting less uh, fair. Uh, we'll be able to do it early next year. Because people say, you know, you'll be able to get one. And we know we can get one early next year. That's that's not really an issue. Well, up to now it's not. Uh, but that wasn't the problem. We, we sort of had something in plan in the in the pipeline for mid mid October. Well, that's that's gone now. Uh, things will work out. They always do, don't they? I can't believe I'm stopping out. There's never anything coming down this road. I come down to have a bit of shenanigans on my own and look what happens. Oh, look at this. Is it pull oh, God, There's bloody people here and everything. People? What are they doing? I'll tell you what, we'll make it look like we're going off road. Look at this. Just go and plow that field. Anyway, come on. I'll show you what's up. Well, the folks, can you see? Spot the difference. Gone back to the standard can. I'm just getting old, old and tired. Getting sick of the noise. <laughs> so we've gone back standard. But yeah, look at this. I'll show you the problem. Well, as you can see, we're looking at the rear wheel. That's where the problem lies. Well, actually down there. I don't know whether you're gonna be able to hear this. Oh, let's have a look. There's play at rear bearings. Not a great deal, but there is play in the rear bearings. Oops. It's probably because we're two up all the time, loads of luggage, it's just, uh, it's not good so they need changing. Not a massive job, but they will get done. Yeah, rest of the bike's spot on. Never had a problem with it, yeah. It's not Mr. Beat, but yeah, the old rear bearings are causing us a bit of grief. There is a bit of play and eventually they will collapse if we don't get them sorted. Not a massive job, so I think I'll, well, an hour. Well, so I'm going to actually upgrade them as well, I'm going to put some better bearings in. Uh, I'm not going to do the front just yet. I was going to do the front as well, but they're rock solid. But yeah, I'm not wasting money doing both if I don't have to. But yeah, there's Big Barb with a dodgy back leg. Let's get back on road, come on. Yeah, so Barb's got a, a sore back leg. That's all that about. I tell you what, I've seen me getting stuck behind loads of cars today. It's no big deal, but first time that it's happened to her. No doubt it won't be last. I tell you what, this is one of the only bikes I've ever known where putting the standard can on actually makes the bike perform better. I know they always run a bit better with the standard can on, unless you get it flashed or whatever. Uh, but I've changed cans on nearly everything I've owned, as we all do. Uh, but on this, it don't actually sound that bad on this, uh, but it came with that fancy can as well as this. And uh, it does sound nice with the Scorpion on, don't get me wrong, but oh my god, it becomes tedious. Really does become tedious. So I said to Faye at weekend, I said, oh, I'm done with it. I'm bloody done with noisy cans. The GoPro just come up with a message saying, no enough space on SD card. It's a brand new card. Well, not brand new card, brand new formatted card. So I might get home and there's no footage. It seems a lot smoother on downshift, it could just be me. I 
it's definitely less fibre. And just on cue, we got a white van. So yeah, I was planning on hoping to get away later in the year. As you know, I started a new job, so I've not quite, obviously, well, obviously I've not accrued enough holidays to do out, so... Oh, he's going that way, but a car's just gone that way. Lovely! Yeah, so I've not quite accrued enough holidays. Uh, they did say, if I wanted to get away, they could probably do something. There's a bike coming. Some, like, authorised absence type thing. Just see, I'll see how it pans out. They'll probably just wait till next year now. You stay there, thank you. Every time I go on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, everybody's bloody getting fed in Spain. Gutted, gutted, I'd love to get away now. Not that I can afford to, by the way, but. Yeah, so I think the standard cam will be stopping on from now on. It's a lot more agreeable to the lug holes. Like I said, don't get me wrong, it does, the other cam, the Scorpion, does sound good, but oh my god. Especially on tour, especially on tour, when you've got to do that motorway a bit down to the fair, well, obviously, you know, we're northwest. England, uh, St. Helens, near, in between Liverpool and Manchester, that's where we are, um, it's like six hours down to the, down to the ferry, so, yeah, like everyone does, just motorway, you're up first day, oh, that exhaust in your ears, because you have panniers on as well, the metal pannier, the sound reverberates off it, like that, reverberates, <laughs> I don't know whether it's apt or not, but, yeah, the sound echoes off the, off the side box, and all. It's, it's not half fatiguing, I had something else say, I can't remember. So we're stuck anyway, we're getting bikes at the moment with for fear, because obviously the thing with Sinis is gonna run out at some point. Let's let's uh, it's not, let's not joke about it, it's gonna run out at some point. And as good as it's been sooner or later, she's so gonna need her own bike. Uh, now depending on what less what test she does, uh, she's more and more leaning towards A2 or A. Uh, she was going to do it, she was looking at doing the A and all that, but there's not many bikes she'd ride with an A licence, but I don't, that's up to her, I'm not, I'm trying to not get involved too much with that. Uh, oh, take it steady, Neddy. Yeah, I'm trying not to get involved too much with it all, it's... Because as you know, she started off looking at cruisers, she wanted a Vulcan S, or the Honda Rebel. She tried them both, they're both great. Honda Rebels like stretched to bars, well that can be sorted, it's not a it's not even a not even an issue that. Uh, so I'm not sure. I'm hoping to get the uh, the bigger terrain off Sinis. They did say that uh, when it's when it's available they'll drop it off. And she can get a sneaky go on there. Because as soon as she got an adventure bike, she's loving it. See, we'd have had the standard can on, the, the Scorpion can on, and the, there'd have been windows shaking and stuff like that. Mm. 
Yeah, so no idea which way we're going with that, but sooner or later she's going to need her own bike. Hence why we was hoping to get the test done before October, well, before the end of October, and then we could go one way or the other with bikes, either big bike, little bike, middle bike, whichever bike. Just Fair's bike. Yeah, there's loads she's seen that she likes. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, there's loads she's seen that she likes, but it all depends on test, doesn't it? Pop of the bank, so oh, I'm alright with that. I'm happy with that. So I'll have to get the other exhaust. I'll have to put it in loft so I can't get to it. And murder me for bloody changing exhausts and just tinkering. Just tinkering with stuff all the time. I need to sort my shit out. So I could be talking to you there, you might not even be on. It says you're on, but I don't know. He said there was not enough space on the card. It's a brand new card. But anyway, I'm nearly home there. Uh, I only want to try the exhaust and just let you know that someone has finally broken on the Africa Twin. On Old Faithful. She has been good, like I say. She, most of her life has been too up fully loaded so no, no wonder burning's gone I just don't want it collapsing and then being brought down at side of the road so I'll probably get them done this weekend uh, I've already inquired about them you know uprated ones um, they spin better heavy duty they need to be heavy duty with me ha! I need to go on a diet and be new and improved anyway folks thanks for watching this uh, Barb's in sick bay at the moment, she will be fixed sooner rather than later. I love you and leave you, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that stuff that Fair says. Sounds good, doesn't it? But anyway, yeah, I'll speak to you soon, see you later. Ta-da.